Hi, it's LaShawn. Thank you so much for joining me here on LaShawn's Lifestyle. If you just found my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Today's video is the allocation of my paycheck number one that I receive on November 30. And then I pay my bills from December 1st through the 14th. So if you want to see how I will be paying my bills and allocating my coins, then please keep watching. All right, so first and foremost, my budget kit is from Uniquely Sean. I have her linked below in the description box and along with some other links that you may find useful. So please check out the description box. I do have a discount code for Uniquely Sean. You can find her on Etsy and also on Instagram if you wanna check out her products. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this paycheck really quickly. So um, first I will be allocating money from my salary and I will be getting that on, um, that is, uh, I will be getting, uh, th uh, allocating three, <clears throat> excuse me, budgeting $3,000. I received, again, as I said, that on the third, I received on the 30th. Um, and then I'm also going to put a space here for manifestation in case I get any money in in between time but for the most part right now we're just going to budget off of the three thousand dollars so let me just go ahead and do a quick header for bills and expenses and um, when they're due the budgeted amount the actual and then the variance Okay, so first and foremost, what I do is I do a household transfer. And the household transfer consists of my mortgage, groceries, utilities, um, things that uh, uh, support the four walls. So that's that. And I do that um, for this paycheck, of course, will, will happen either first or second or usually, usually around that time. So that's when I make the transfer. The budget amount is $1,270.50. Next is the gym. And that is an automatic payment that hits my credit card that I pay off. I just put this money towards the credit card that is due on the first as well. That is for $23.42. Next is another automatic payment and that is life insurance. And um, this one, one is for me and one is insurance. insurance. Mm -hmm. um, one is due um, on the second, one of them is due on the second and that is for $51 and this is for my mom. And then the second one is due on the same day, but it is with a different insurance company. So that's why they don't come together. So that's number two. That one's due on the second as well for $103.89. All right, next is Black Queen. And Black Queen is due on the second also for seven ten fifty three. All right. Next we have uh, my tolls, and I go in and I pay that myself. I don't like the way they do it here, the automated way because they pull it out at any time. It's based on a threshold and not a date, so I choose not to do that, and I put pay that on a third and I put $25 towards my tolls. Next is Amex Gold and currently American Express Gold is my snowball item that I am now putting not only the minimum payment but any amount that I have set aside as my 
debt snowball amount that I want to, to contribute to and any other funds that I might, you know, snowflake payments or things of that nature. So this is my current snowball payment. Although um, those of you who have been on my channel or watching my videos, you know, I say constantly, I will always keep my American Express and use my American Express um, because I do appreciate the perks that come with it. Eventually, I want to just have like all of my bills paid, those that w will allow me to use my American Express once I get it down to zero, but I still want to just have everything go to it so I can capture the reward points um, because they're phenomenal. And so even though it has a um, kind of steep membership fee, I make that up like within a month or two. It's way past the amount that I pay for the membership fee. So I will probably all, not probably, I will always have the American Express as long as they let me keep it. <laughs> so that is due on the 4th and that um, the minimum payment I'm paying is 165. But again, like I said, that is my debt snowball item for um, at this time now that I'm trying to pay off. So that's my bills and expenses so far for paycheck one so we're going to go ahead and add these up which i did off camera camera for the sake of time so that currently is two thousand three hundred forty nine dollars and thirty four cents all right so next we're going to get into my variable expenses and variables for paycheck one uh, is not many because I do a cash um, stuffing, cash I do cash envelope stuffings, but I only do it once a month. So um, I try to get that, and if I can, half of my sinking fund. So that's what I'm going to do here. So variable will be my um, cash envelopes. And that is $400. And then my sinking funds, I'm going to do half of my sinking funds. And that is $150. So that totals $550. And the rollover amount, because I need the rollover to go over to the next pay, is when you subtract, add these two and subtract them for the 3,000, that leaves me with $100.66, which is my rollover. So that is my paycheck number one in a nutshell. And uh, hopefully, um, I will stay on track during this holiday time because we know how it can be. But anywho, that is it. So yeah, if you've lasted this long in this video, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You are a lifestyler. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so that you are aware when I upload a video. Like, comment, and share with your family and friends. I would appreciate that. And until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.